Hello world! Now that we've gone over how to get to the moon, and even some fancy maneuvers to do once you get there, it's time for the big challenge. It's time to land on moon. As always, you'll follow the normal procedure to get to Moon Sphere of Influence. Wait for it to rise above the horizon and burn until you have an intercept. Once you reach the moon's vicinity, make sure your periapsis is around 50 kilometers, and when you get there, perform your breaking burn to circleize your orbit. Now that you're in a lunar orbit, you can pick out a landing spot. It doesn't really matter where, but I'd suggest somewhere on the day side so you can see your shadow when you're coming down. When you're on the opposite side of the moon from your landing site, burn retrograde until your periapsis is about 5 kilometers. Your periapsis should be about right above where you want to land. At this point, it's time to extend the lander legs and make a quick save, because here comes the tricky part. When you reach your periapsis, you want to kill your horizontal velocity, but as you do, you'll start falling straight down towards the planet, which means you'll have to burn upwards to make sure you don't hit the ground too hard. You can do one and then the other, but the smarter and more efficient way to land is to do a reverse gravity turn of sorts. So, when you get to periaps, you'll start burning retrograde along the horizon, and as you slow down, you'll turn as gravity starts accelerating you downwards. You should ease this transition until your retrograde vector is at the top of your nav ball. Make sure you kill all your horizontal velocity, even the slightest bit can screw up your landing. Using RCS is great for this job, as you can use the translate controls to kill horizontal velocity while still pointing up. When you're this close to the ground, you can ignore the altimeter. Mountains on the moon can be pretty high. It's better to use a radar altimeter inside the ship to judge how close you are to the ground, or just look at your shadow and eyeball it. When you do hit the ground, you want to be going less than 5 meters per second, otherwise the impact will destroy your ship. There are two ways to actually go about slowing your ship down to land. You can either continue burning throughout your descent to keep your speed low, but this wastes a ton of fuel. On the other hand, you can burn the last second to lower your speed right before you hit the ground, but it's not easy. They don't call it a suicide burn for nothing. The best way is to find a balance and burn every so often to lower your speed by increments. As you get more practice, you'll get better at timing your burn to minimize the wasted fuel. Let's see how I do. Alright, we're coming in on the final, the final little bit here. Let me try to kill out the last of that horizontal velocity. Alright, there we go. I'm using a probe, so I can't tell exactly how high uh, I am above the ground because I can't use the cockpit view to see the altimeter, but I think I shall do fine either way. Alright, coming close. Uh, going a bit fast, okay. My shadow should be appearing any there it is, there's my shadow, okay. Okay, I actually started going up a little bit. Oh, uh, ah, eh. Okay, okay, okay. It's close, 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 close. Eee. Damn it. Ah, all right. Stay, stay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Nice. That was a perfect demonstration. <laughs> Now my Anne Marie probe can do some science. All right. <laughs> no matter how much experience you have, landing on another body is a nerve-wracking event. But if things go right, you will land safely. I hope this guide helped. Good luck. And I will see you out there. <laughs>